Yo, what's up, people? Matty D of ITB and the Black, where we help you keep emotional, financial, and physical well-being and your relation codes when it comes to your parents. Um, been a little bit since I've done the video. Um, I've been working some other things in my personal life. Um, sometimes when you're doing stuff, you get life kind of, you kind of get off track. So you got to get back to being focused. So, but anyways, right into it. Uh, this video is on uh, the second step to uh, healing from your parents. And one of the things I've learned in this step, you know, in the first one, the link is in the description below here, and you know, it'll show up uh, as this video towards the end. But the second step, you know, your parents is pretty much being okay with who you are. And what I mean by that is it's, it's accepting who you are, forgiving the things you've done to them, forgiving yourself, and loving yourself. Probably like, what does it do with my parents? Everything. Your life is where it is based on decisions, thoughts, and actions, and feelings you've all had up until this moment in time. So it all starts with you. Now, you cannot control what your parents do, but you can control and focus on how you want to feel, how you want to be, and how you want to heal. I like it. How you want to be, how you want to deal and feel, whatever I said. I just got to, I just got to run again, so I haven't eaten yet, so I'm a little brain fog. So bear with me. So you gotta be okay with who you are, and it starts being being. Um, you can start using some affirmations. Um, one of the things we, if you're not used to doing this, you're gonna feel some resistance. You know, whatever thoughts come up, just observe it, let it go, and say, you know, one of the things I tell myself is that I love, I approve, and accept myself. I'm sorry, I love and approve of myself. I accept myself. I am a great daughter. I am a great son. Whatever it is, you know, start saying like, I love myself. I am awesome. I am amazing. You know, my challenge to you is to write down 10, 10, or actually several five, five affirmations. You can use the ones I mentioned, you know, I love and accept myself. I love and approve myself. I love myself. You know, look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. State your full name. It's going to feel weird. It's going to feel, feel weird and awkward if you haven't done it, but you got to start loving who you are. If it helps, one thing, one things you can do is write down how you feel, write down, I love myself, love myself, you know, and really feel and mean it, you know, and one of the things you can do is if you want to feel love, close your eyes. Take in a couple of deep breaths. Again. And say, and ask yourself, what do I want to experience? And say, I want to feel love. The universal love is out there. I feel I love right now. Wow, I'm feeling it. Yeah. As you do it, you, you want to smile more. When you smile and relax, all cells in your body, and you can feel it. It starts with loving yourself and forgive yourself. And write down all the things you did to your parents. You know, write down a letter and say, and say I love you. I'm sorry. I, I forgive myself for what I've done and apologize for what you've done. And, and you know, I'll say, I forgive myself for who I was. I was mad at time. You know, you're always learning, becoming consciously more aware of what's going on. So what you know now, you didn't know then. If you did know it then, you wouldn't, you know, you'd be in a different spot, most likely. So... Be okay. Remove the judgment. You've done what you've done. You need to start forgiving yourself. And when you can do that, and be okay with who you are, and be okay with where you're at, you'll get to where you're going to be faster, and you'll be better able to accept who they are and still be able to love them from a distance. You know, I wouldn't say it's best that you want to be like, ah, screw them, because there's still a form of, I don't like apathy apathy there's no apathy there and or ap being apathetic the ultimately you want to be a place where you can still love them even if they say screw you you know because the end of the day you have to understand the issues that they have are not yours you're not your mom you're not your dad they they are going to continue to deal with their deep be with their emotional shit and it's going to tear them up and there's nothing you can do about that and that's where you and when you can do this process and get to the point where you can truly just be cool with them you can be like, all right, that's them. I ain't got to deal with it. And then when they do pass away, you'll have a clean conscience. Be like, hey, I did what I did. And I'm cool. And no one can say anything. So, again, to review, start using some affirmations like, you know, I love and prove myself. I accept myself. I'm a great son. I'm a great daughter. You know, these affirmations can be used. And start saying them over and over and over, you know. Palm yourself with them. Write a letter forgiving yourself. Write a, letter, write a letter forgiving them, write a letter, you know, apologizing for, you know, things that they've done, for things you've done. 
and realize that hey, you you only know what you know now. Back then you didn't. And um, be cool who you are. Just accept who you are. You're you are you are a unique being. You're an infinite being. Okay. Has has unlimited power at your disposal. At any moment in time, you can experience whatever it is that you want to experience, and it's true. If you choose to accept that, okay, and you can choose to experience having peace and love for your parents, regardless of how jacked up they are. You can do that. I want to help you with that. So, hope this helps. Like this video. Comment. Let me know. Hope to speak with you soon. Deuces. Get in the black.